Alright guys, I've made it to the beautiful Hamad International Airport here in Doha, Qatar after a painful 14 hour long flight in economy all the way from Sydney, Australia. So, needless to say, I am smashed and the only thing I have in mind is to get to the All Merge and Business Lounge for a few hours before my next 14 hour flight to Sao Paulo, Brazil. However, that one will be in style, experiencing the Qatar Airways skill suite. By the way, in case you haven't seen it, in my last video I flew business class with Qatar Airways experiencing for the first time the Q-Suite, which is regarded as the best business class in the world, and the link is in the description. Make sure you check it out later. Back to this video, I was looking forward to eating some delicious food and take a much needed shower, but I was denied entry in the All Merge and Business Lounge despite having a Q-Suite business class ticket in my hand. So stick around as we're gonna go back to where it all started and the reason why I was denied entry in the All Merge and Business Lounge and what I did to get around and finally get inside and enjoy the facilities. Hamad Airport is one of the most beautiful airports I've ever seen. It's clean modern and luxurious. There are quite a few lounges at Hamad International Airport. Some of the lounges include similar perks. Now, let's talk about my experience. As someone who didn't know any better, I try entering the best, which is the Al Safa First Lounge. Even though I had a business class ticket in my hand, I got to the reception, the receptionist scanned and looked at my ticket and politely redirected me to the All Merge and Business Lounge. So, I walked my way over. Upon arrival, they also declined my entry and they explained it to me that because my ticket was an upgrade, I was not able to gain entry to those facilities either. Here was I with a Q-Suite business class ticket in hand and I was declined entry in the lounge. Luckily, before paying any extra money for my upgrade ticket, I had paid also for the Omaha Lounge's access, and that's the place where I headed next. At a first glance from outside, it looked crowded and not much better than just being at a regular restaurant in the common areas of the airport. However, after talking to the receptionist at the Omaha Lounge's entrance, she saw my business class ticket and it was super friendly, she at least upgraded me to the Oryx Lounge. It's more spacious and less crowded, because it's a bit more exclusive. So, headed to the Oryx Lounge to freshen up and get something to eat. So, about the Oryx Lounge. There was a small queue to be able to take a shower in the Oryx Lounge and the facilities were modest but very clean and staff were super friendly. As it was early morning, there was a couple of drink stations and a breakfast buffet. The food variety was limited, but everything tasted delicious. The eggs and beef sausages were so good that I had to go back for seconds. Finally, it was time to head over to the gate for my Q-Suite flight to Sao Paulo. Again, link is in the description. Fast forward a month, I was ready to finally get inside the All Merge and Business Lounge. So I've made it here to the airport in Doha, Hamad International Airport here in Doha. And now I have three hours before my flight to Sydney. So I'm gonna go to the lounge get something to eat, relax, and just uh, yeah, wait for my connecting flight to Sydney. So I went up to the receptionist. For the sake of this video and this review, I was happy to pay $125 or 450 Qatari Rial. Guys, if you're finding this video helpful, please make sure you leave it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos like this. As a small YouTube channel, I spend days editing these videos to share with you guys. Thank you and any help is greatly appreciated. Back to the video. So, Qatar Oasis All Merge and Business Lounge is by far one of the best business lounges in the world. First. Let's talk about the location. The All Merge and Business Class Lounge is located on level 3, with the entrance to the lounge in the south node, up to the escalators just off the main atrium of the airport, right by the duty-free shop. Once you go up the escalator, there is a huge reception desk, which generally has quite a lot of people, and it's a bit chaotic, 
But lucky for me, on this day, it was pretty empty. When inside, you cannot help but admire the big reflection infinity pool, which is under a beautiful spiral staircase, illuminated by an amazing crystal chandelier. First, there's a large room with lockers that have locks on them, so you can leave your luggage or any belongings safely inside and stroll around the lounge more freely, or even go outside the airport. The lounge's design is very inspiring with a showcase of modern flair with the classic style. The lounge is beautifully decorated with exclusive marbles, designer furniture, which provides a very luxurious feel. The ambiance is very elegant. There are very high ceilings, and the bronze walls feature traditional calligraphy that contributes to an Arabian premium atmosphere. The main part of the lounge is huge, with chairs separated by screens and also sofas on the other side. Many of the chairs on the lower level have their personal tablet on a side table, so you can check flight departures or simply browse the internet. All seats also have UK power sockets, which also take Euro plugs. In terms of food, there are multiple dining options, so whether you are in the mood for a gourmet meal or simply a light snack, you can be sure you will find something to satisfy your palate. There are also vegetarian meals, as well as pastries and sweets to satisfy your cravings. Service can be a bit slow at times, taking around 15 to 20 minutes. Now, for drinks, there is a bar area where you can indulge in a good selection of wines and free-flowing champagne. Now, one of the most relaxing things to do between flights is to be able to have a shower and stay clean and fresh. All Margin Business Lounge has taken special care in designing their shower and restroom facilities, and each shower is part of its own spacious area with fine linens and luxurious amenities. There is a business center with a conference room and new computers, printers, and scanners. There are a couple of games room with video game stations with PlayStation consoles, plus table football machines. There's even a Qatar Formula One car in a separate games room where you can sit in and play driving games. Now to the important part. To get inside the All Merchant Business Class Lounge, you have to be flying either first class or business class on Qatar Airways, but those flying economy cannot get in. You can purchase access to the lounge. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and activate the notification bell. That way you help me a lot. As a small YouTube channel, I truly appreciate every single one of you guys. Back to the video. Now overall, All Merchant Business Class Lounge is simply amazing. It has a fantastic decor, very impressive amenities, and excellent dining options to make your stay very memorable. You can enjoy a refreshing drink in any of the bar areas. You can catch a quick nap in one of the quiet rooms. You can relax with your family in one of the family rooms. You can simply kick back and enjoy a moment of tranquility. Or you can play video game in one of the video game rooms. But for me, just being able to have a shower after a long haul flight when I have another one ahead is priceless. It's very, very worth it in my opinion. I highly recommend you pay your way into the All Merge and Business Lounge if you cannot access it with your ticket. Now walking all the way to gate C13 and then get ready to board first. Gonna try to talk to the people on a counter to see if I can get an upgrade, but it seems like the flight is packed, so I'm gonna go back to the village. As my friend Darren says, back to the village, meaning <laughs> back to economy. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. But uh, anyway, if you wanna fly economy, you don't wanna fly economy, but if you have to fly economy, you definitely need to fly with Qatar Airways. They are the best economy. Like their premium economy is the best. So it reclines, you know, it doesn't recline as business, but still reclines. So if you need to fly economy, you wanna fly with Qatar Airways. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next trip. Bye.